you tell us, you know, a bit about your film, Gulabi Gang? Yeah. Um, Gulabi Gang is a is a group of women in Bundelkhand, which is central India, and uh, they uh, this group was formed by Sampat Pal in 2006, and now they have uh, over 200,000 members, uh, mainly women and the fight against injustice uh, to women and Dalits and corruption. So, yeah, uh, so this film is uh, following these women around as they do their uh, rallying or protesting and uh, trying to understand what, uh, trying to, you know, go with them and understand this society where they're working in. Oh, uh, what is it about Gulabi Gang that prompted you to, you know, make a film on them, a document? Um, especially the location where they come from, Bundelkhan, which is, uh, you know, it's a country of bandits and this is also where women are really badly oppressed. Uh, thousands of women are killed every year. For, uh, sometimes for dowry, sometimes sometimes for no reason at all. And uh, and in this area, such strong group of women to emerge in itself is fascinating. Number two, the most of the women are uneducated. So they are self-made and they have this sort of brand of homegrown feminism, which we may have certain uh, you know issues with. But uh, what is interesting is that it's a, it's a sign of life. One and and the fact that where, wherever there is oppression, peop, uh, women are reacting against it. So that means feminism is living, and it's, it's very different what they are doing and what they are up against. It's it's very different from uh, say movements in in urban areas. It's quite remarkable uh, what they're doing. And um, do you you know now that the, the movie's over and done with and it's it's going to be screened here. Yeah. Uh, are you still in touch with them? Do you still follow up with them? Are, are you still involved actively with them? Uh, I won't say on a daily basis, no. Uh, Sampath was there for our premiere in Norway and she's coming for the cinema release to Norway as well. So we are in touch at that level, but not in, ev- uh, not in an everyday and sometimes on, on phone. So I have to still bring the film to the women. And that's uh, that's going to take uh, a little a little while and traveling because they are in uh, in an area of 250 kilometers to go from place to place, and 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 have whole screening. So I have to take out time now, and that's next on our agenda. And uh, lastly, you know you've you've been to a lot of different film festivals where your you know your movies have been screened. You know where where how would you how would you uh, rank the, uh, you know the Dubai International Film Festival on on a global scale? Um, I, I mean, I didn't know what to expect. I heard, I'd heard great things about Dubai International Film Festival, but I think it's, it's much more than I even expected. Uh, in terms of the number of films, the films are very good. We are in a very tough competition here. And um, yeah, I mean, just, just the whole presentation of the festival, the professionalism, it's, it's much better than, that, than I expected. Or and uh, one last question, uh, what, what do you think about the, the kind of uh, Indian films that are being screened this year? You know, this being the 100th uh, celebration of Indian cinema? Yeah, I think there are some fabulous films here. And uh, in uh, documentaries and in and fiction, I've seen The Ship of Theseus and uh, then Shahid and Sound. I haven't seen, I missed it, but I've heard great things about it. I, I think that all, all the films are really good. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. It was such a pleasure talking to you.